Tori, have you ever have you ever bailed out of a conversation? Do you want to bail out of this one? <laughs> <laughs> this is Prime Truly Originals. Right, Richard and Tori, welcome to Truly Originals with Prime Video. Now, you guys have a show called Great Escape is coming out. We're stranded on a desert island. We're not going anywhere. No one's coming to get us. What's that? Come on! Look, tools! We might be able to build something to get us rescued. When do we start drinking our own pee? Let's wait till we run out of water first. I've really enjoyed what I've seen so far. Now, I'm sure you guys have had many interviews in your time where you've been asked the same question over and over again. I'm going to ask you questions that I'm hoping you've never been asked before. Are you ready, gentlemen? I understand and I'm ready. Yes. I'm nervous. You didn't seem so sure about the ready part. So if we've been asked this before, we can just like yawn and, uh. and I lose respect points and cry tonight. The amount of crying that I do is dependent upon how many truly original questions I didn't ask. Do we get to see you cry? You might. I might cry mid-interview. Yeah, that could happen. That could happen. I don't know what that does for you, oh, but um It's a new experience. <laughs> Here's the first question. What is the greatest way that you have ever escaped a conversation? That's a good question. <laughs> Oh, my brother's got a killer for that one. He'll, you'll be on the phone to him, chatting away, and then he'll say, does your phone do this? And just cut it. <laughs> it's, it's really it's great. It's, it's great because you are yes. left on your own. So I haven't actually had the nerve to try it. I did carry a brain injury for a bit, and that was just the world's best excuse because for like a year or so, all I had to do was say, oh, I'm really sorry, I've lost your name. My I'm brain. just going to go. I was fine, but I could just blame it on that. He did that during the entire shoot. We got to dig holes over here to put that. And he was like, oh, I, I had a headache. <laughs> Can I be clear? I did not do that. I need a salty snack and, and some sweet drinks. Tori, have you ever, have you ever bailed out of a conversation? Do you want to bail out of this one? <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine bailing out a conversation about bailing out of a conversation. The level of inception. <laughs> <laughs> was that a truly original question? Yeah. I'd say it was. Yes. Truly original. So I'm off to a smashing start. If you were trapped on an island with someone, what would be your preferred accent other than your counterparts? This would be an accent that Tori would speak with and I would speak with. No, you'd speak with your own accent. It's just being trapped with that accent. Like there's certain as accents I'm definitely not trying to be trapped with, like the Liverpool one. You're decrying all <laughs> scouses. I need other sounds. I need other sounds than that. Welsh. A Welsh accent is a lovely lilting thing. That's a nice noise. You know what would be even better is if I could just like have a button and switch it like to French, to Italian, oh, and awesome. just like, uh, Tori, let me go get the pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised none of you said Australian. That would be my number one pick. I love the Australian accent. No, it's a terrible racket. You asked me if I was willing to diss Liverpool, which is one city, and you just dissed an entire country. <laughs> Give them miles away. I'm safe. I'm going to assume that was another truly original question. You're two for two. Truly original. If you were to unfortunately and regrettably pass away on a desert island, what would you want deleted? Your internet search history or your Instagram DMs? Either would be really bad because people would just discover how boring. <laughs> <laughs> we checked everything, but there was nothing. There was literally nothing at all. Like what? There's nothing to delete. It's just looking up 1972 Hondas. <laughs> I'm assuming that was an original one. Yeah, it was original. Yeah, you are good. Absolutely you are original. good at this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You got to switch it up, man. You got to make it interesting. So um, this next question, because I like to really like keep things philosophical, deep, theoretical, and like really thought provoking. Do you think if you ate enough beans, you could uh, power a sailboat with your wind? That is a deep question, you're right. It, it depends on how much like flatulence are coming out. I guess it's really how much your body can... Yeah, I mean, there are certain quantitative issues. What if you just drop your bum into the water and then it's like a like a motorboat? Motorboat, a propeller. Jet, jet ski you wear. I don't know if I want that kind of feedback from the water on my butt. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure any of these options are comfortable nor dignified, but <laughs> achievable is what we're looking for. You, do, you have to do what you, what you have to do when you're trying to escape. Was that a truly original question? God, yes. yes. Truly original. That yeah. was very much so. There you have it. That has been truly original with Prime Video. I've asked ultimately original questions. Guys, thank you so much for your absolutely original answers. It has been massively appreciated. Thank you, Simon. Thanks for asking him. And thanks for having us on. This, nice to talk to you. This was probably the best interview we've ever had. Aww. Wait, is that a tear? Are you shedding a tear? Yeah, I, I thought that I was going to cry out of sadness, but I'm actually crying out of happiness now. 
Yes! So... <laughs>